Hello, and welcome to Dopamine. My name is Julia. Now is a very important moment. You are embarking on a practice that will change the flow of your life. You will be able to thank yourself already in a month for this right step taken right now. In this journey, I offer you simple meditation practices for every day. Starting today, you will learn how to relax your mind, calm your body and step-by-step step create a more balanced and harmonious life, deepening awareness in the essence of our journey. In other words, it is focusing attention on everything that happens in our inner and outer world. As if witnessing our own life, together we will learn to practice mindfulness comfortably and easily. First, we will learn to observe the physical body and breath, which is more accessible, and then the emotions and thoughts. As you deepen your practice, you will develop your own preferences, your vision, development, and perspective. That will allow you to look for those options that suit you. Gradually, awareness will go beyond meditation sessions and spread to all areas of life. You will suddenly find better concentration during normal activities, for example, in the office, at home, or when talking with friends. As your awareness expands, your life will become more peaceful, pacified, and you can enjoy it to the fullest. Perhaps you have never practiced meditation before. It doesn't matter. I will always be by your side throughout this journey. On my channel, you will find a lot of meditations on various topics and I will give you the support you need to access the meditation you need. Thank you for joining and I hope to see you soon. Is meditation right for me? Meditation is an excellent practice for anyone who wants to strengthen their mind and deepen their awareness of their lives. If you're struggling with stress or finding it difficult to sleep or your relationships need more balance, or even just want to understand yourself better, then meditation is the way to go. Meditation does not require any special skills, knowledge or conditions. You can start meditating at any time, even right now, and immediately feel the benefits of meditation. And although you can immediately feel the short-term effect of meditation, nevertheless, as you progress in your practice, the benefits from these practices will increase along with it and also your ability to transform them into your daily life. Is there any scientific evidence for the benefits of meditation? Yes, there are. Over a hundred studies on meditation and mindfulness have been conducted at various universities, and their results point to several important points. If you meditate regularly every day for eight weeks, then the part of the brain that makes decisions and calms us down during difficult emotions being responsible for empathy associated with remembering activity, then the number of cells in this part physically increases. In other words, we can stay calmer, more reasonable, and make more rational decisions. And in our relationships, we understand ourselves better and more easily recognize our feelings and emotions. In the brain, the limbic region is responsible for emotions and memories and the part that initiates tension and negative reactions becomes smaller, that is, its activity is reduced. And this means that the possibility of unexpected explosions of emotions, such as fear, anger and anxiety, is reduced. Regular meditation has been clinically proven to have a positive effect on people who suffer from anxiety, chronic stress and depression. It also helps to cope with sleep problems and improve empathy. How should you breathe during meditation? During meditation, we observe the natural flow of the breath, the way it is. It is not necessary to breathe in any special way. We take natural breath through the nose and exhale also through the nose. If you have any anatomical problems and find it difficult to breathe through your nose, you can also breathe in and out through your mouth. During this practice of meditation, we observe natural breathing in its involuntary speed and rhythm. 
This observation of the breath helps to calm the mind and also exercises mind. In all meditations, I will give various recommendations on how to observe the breath more naturally. Sometimes this technique is done by observing the flow of breath throughout the body. Sometimes we count our breath. And sometimes we repeat the words along with the breath. In some breathing meditations, I also teach various techniques. Where and how can I meditate? You can meditate anywhere you feel comfortable and safe. I recommend that you listen to sleep meditations when you are already in bed to help you sleep better. Some meditations I recommend doing while lying on your back or vice versa in a sitting position with a straight back. You can sit on the couch, in your favorite chair or even on the floor. During morning meditation, it is best to sit with a straight upright back. This will increase your energy levels. In the evening, you can do your meditations in a more relaxed position to help you de-stress before going to bed. On dopamine channel, you will also find mindfulness exercises that you can do while walking. How should I sit while meditating? You can lean on a pillow or stretch your legs on your bed. You can sit on the couch or chair in your office, on the park bench. You can just sit on the floor. You can even lie down while meditating. And it doesn't matter if you lean on something or not, or if you sit in the lotus position. If your hips and feet are comfortable on something like a pillow, you can sit that way. Or sit cross-legged. But whether you're sitting cross-legged or lying down, make sure your back is straight. And if you're sitting, then the hips are higher than the knees. Then they just won't get tired. When should I meditate? There is no right or wrong moment to meditate. You can meditate in the morning before you start your day, or in the evening after school or work, before you go to bed, or even during the day when you have time for it. Research shows that morning is a good time to start a new habit. Therefore, if you do not have any particular preferences, I recommend that you try to meditate in the morning. If you feel like you don't have time to meditate, I want to offer you many mindfulness practices. Watch how much time you spend on what you do during the day. It's phone calls, social media, TV watching, housework, personal care, shopping, whatever you want. Just think about the time you set aside each day for these activities. Now think about whether you can carve out 10 or 20 minutes every day for yourself to slow down the flow of the day and just be with yourself, to feel your body, your sensations, reduce tension in the body, and reduce stress levels. By making time for this practice, you can improve the quality of your day more than you think. You just have to want it. I have never meditated before. Where should I start? On Dopamine channel, you will find special series for beginners. Basics. In this series, you will learn how to meditate step by step. By mastering these programs, you will learn the basic techniques and concepts found in meditation techniques. And when you can, continue with body series. Breathing and being in the moment, or also with any series that you want to do and you feel that it is relevant for you in the present moment. How often do I need to meditate? I recommend that you set aside time for this practice every day. I recommend meditating every day in order to make and create a habit, to root it in our brain. Strengthen your ability to make decisions as well as improve memory and empathy. Meditation helps to lower levels of cortisol, known as the stress hormone. And this happens even after the first time of meditation. However, if you meditate regularly, you will discover the deeper benefits of this practice. For example, with regular practice, you will be able to focus much easier, enjoy life more, reduce stress levels, and be able to control your emotions. But if life doesn't allow you the luxury of practicing meditation every day, you can meditate every other day. You can simply set yourself the intention to increase this time. But when you can't, just be kind to yourself. It's not a competition. It's a process of building friendship with yourself. How can I turn meditation into a habit? 
The most important tool for this is to make the practice of meditation daily. Meditating at the same time, in the same place, will make it easier for you to turn the practice into a daily habit. And in the morning, by the way, it is a little easier to develop the practice than in the evening. You can start with short meditations and gradually increase their time, progressing step by step. Also, try to treat meditation not as a task, but like a journey into your mind that will transform your life. You can prepare the environment for your meditation practice. For example, dim the light, make this moment as pleasant as possible for yourself. Try also to use different sounds as a background. And the more comfortable and enjoyable the practice of meditation is for you, the easier it will be for you to turn it into a daily habit. Subscribe to the channel and in the comments, please share with me. Have you already had experience in meditation? Did you like it? Was it helpful? And I hope to see you soon.